Welcome to the Mexican versus Spain slang challenge. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spring Spanish. Yo soy María Fernanda and I am one of the Mexican teachers here at Spring Spanish YouTube channel. In this video, I have a special guest all the way from España. Yeah, from Spain. Well, actually she lives in Alemania, in Germany. But you get the idea. Because in this video we're going to compare Mexico versus Spain slang. Andy is well known for teaching German and vlogging about her life in Germany on her YouTube channel Andy GM in Berlin, where we actually made a video talking about how the conversation-based chunking method, the one we use at Spring Spanish, could be also applied to German and English learners. Feel free to check out that video as well. I have left the link inside the description box below. Bienvenida, Andy. Welcome. Hello everybody, I'm Andy and just as Maria Fernanda just said, I'm in Spanish, living in Germany and I also have a YouTube channel, so if you want, you can go check it out. Thank you Andy. So, let's get started everyone. ¿Estás listo? Let's be honest guys, for many people, Spanish sounds the same. Uh, regardless of where they come from, but for native Spanish speakers, accents and slangs may vary a lot, whether they come from Spain, from Mexico, or even other Spanish-speaking countries. So Andy is here to share her slang from Spain, and we're going to play a little game. We're going to contrast her slang with my Mexican slang. So Andy, ¿estás lista? I am so happy to be here and I am ready to start this challenge. Perfecto, Andy. So the rules are very simple. Juan, another Spring Spanish teacher, he's going to be our mediator for this challenge. He's going to give out the word in English that we're supposed to say in our country slang, and then he's going to mention who goes first. Suena bien? Sounds good? Okay, here we go then. <laughs> The first word is dude. Well, in Mexico, I don't know about you, Andy, but in Mexico we have a, a way to say that as way, compa, cuate. Okay, okay, now we will say um, colega, tronco, <laughs> or tío, we will also say. Tío is actually uncle in Spanish, but we will also use it for to say dude, yeah. <laughs> wow, to be honest, I have never heard tronco before because in Mexico if you say tronco it's like saying you are dumb it's like saying eres muy tronco para las matemáticas like, oh really <laughs> <laughs> no we yeah. wouldn't say that in Spanish <laughs> tronco is to uh, directly speak to a dude of yours you know hey tronco wow, interesting I didn't <laughs> know that okay yeah. Juan next one the second word is hangover Maria Fernanda well, in Mexico, when someone's hangover, we say mm -hmm. estar crudo. So, <laughs> to be raw? Yes. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? <laughs> we only say resaca. I think that's the more common, the most common one. I don't think we have any special word for that. It's just yeah, resaca. Yeah. <laughs> we do have that one as well. It's too formal yeah. for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, really? Spanish. No, for us, it's not. <laughs> Plain normal, <laughs> proper Spanish. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? The third word is no problem. Andy, what do you say? For us, this is also a very normal one. I'm sorry, I think we would just say no hay problema, no te preocupes, mm, ni te preocupes, but it's, it's very normal actually, sorry. <laughs> I mean, we do have one that it's really Mexican, that means no hay pedo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, literally means there's no part. Okay, all right. <laughs> or we also say no hay bronca. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't even know so, how to translate that. We won't fight, there's no fight here or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. no hay bronca, no pasa eh, nada. They actually make sense. Yeah, I guess You so. Mexicans are really logic people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next one. Shoot Juan. <laughs> The fourth one is cool. Andy, please begin. Um, 
Okay, yeah, 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 I got it. Um, we, or I say this a lot, or we Spanish say this a lot, and a lot of people, when I say it, don't understand it. Mainly people from Latin America, and it's guay. Guay? Está guay. Está guay, es guay. Guay, or if you want to say, like, it's cool, you can say, me mola. Ah, <laughs> I like me it, but, mola. like, me mola. <laughs> And well, how about you? When we say something is cool, we say está chido. Mm -hmm. I like yeah, that one. Yeah, I think that's very mm -hmm. popular in Mexico. Like, say está chido, or mm -hmm. a person eres chida. Maybe, I don't know if you have heard that one. Like, uh, que padre, o está padre. <laughs> está mm -hmm. padre. Yes, of course, que padre, está padre. <laughs> yes, está love padrísimo. it. The next one is kid. Maria Fernanda, please. Mm, so, in Mexico, we say chamaco or chamaquito. <laughs> what? <laughs> chamaco. Okay, so in Spain, we will say, I, I think it's just like pretty plain again. I will say just niño or chiquito, no, chico, niño. Yeah, I think it's pretty plain. Boring, boring Spanish. <laughs> chamaco is only from, from Mexico. But in Colombia, they have an expression that they say, culi cagado. Imagine. <laughs> culi cagado? I mean, it makes sense. They're all the time like pooping, but it's just yes, like. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> culi cagado. Now we have, okay. Andy, please. Okay. Vale. You will say vale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vale or, or even okay. A lot of people actually that are not Spanish laugh at me for saying vale like a lot of times because we use it for everything. It's like vale, vale, vale. Everything is vale for us. But yeah, it's, it's like okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about yeah, you? I have heard that before. Mm -hmm. For us, I think it will be mm -hmm. okay as well or va, like orale va. Orale, orale, yeah, 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 I like that one. Like, yeah, orale. Mm. <laughs> I like that one, I've heard that one too. And also perhaps dale or something like that? Yeah, I think that will be also very common. Like if you want to go to the movies, you will say dale, vamos. Dale. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, siguiente. Next word, like. Uh, I like it, me mola. That's, that's how we will say it. Or it's cool, eh, mola, you know? So it's a word that we will, say, we will use for both things. And also the same word as well, guay, we will say also, oh yeah, eso está guay. Está guay o es guay. And that means also, I like it, so. Okay, okay. I think I'll just yeah. go to Spain and say, me mola y está guay for yes. everything. <laughs> yes, everybody will love you. Okay, in Mexico, actually, <laughs> we, we also say me. But we use the word melate, latte. You know, it's like something that gives me the vibe. Yeah, I vibe with it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I so, like it. I like it as well. Yeah. Our next word is posh. Let's start with Andy. Posh. That would be pijo or pija. Pijo for men and pija for women. Yeah, we will say that. I know. I know. Pijo? I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I don't want to say anything because that sounds so wrong. I know. I know what you're gonna say. Yes. <laughs> A lot of people complain because uh, they it tends to mean something else in other uh -huh. Spanish languages. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, in Spanish it's just posh. <laughs> Interesting. What about you? We say fresa. You call people strawberries? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's so funny. I, we say, eres muy fresa, or like, Andy, eres no. super fresa. <laughs> no, no soy pija. <laughs> and beer is our next one. What about you, Maria Fernanda? Um, of course, mi favorita. <laughs> <laughs> I like beer, personally. But we say, una chela, mm. una chelita, or just like normal cerveza, cervecita. But it's very normal that you go to Mexico and you say, ay, te me sí. chelas. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I like the word chela. Yeah, it, it sounds very nice. Somehow, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Andy? Well, we have many. Like, uh, it depends on the kind of beer that you are ordering. Like, mainly, uh, in all together, it will be cerveza, yeah, beer. 
But we could also say caña if it's like from like if you if it's served in a really small glass, you know, from a uh -huh, uh, what do you call that? Yeah. A grifo? Una cañita. Yes, yes. How do you say grifo? I just forgot. Uh, barril? <laughs> sí, from the barril, basically. <laughs> yeah, we say cerveza de barril. Uh -huh, for us, a caña. Um, it can also be uh, botellín if it's if it comes in a bottle. In a bottle, so you would say un botellín, but you mean mm -hmm. a cerveza, obviously. And sometimes it could be even a birra, but it's not very common. Ah, so yeah, we have many words. Interesting. For our second round, phrases in español, phrases in Spanish. So let's start with the first one. Is that true? Oof, um, we will say, I mean, um, literally translated, it will be, eso es verdad, but we will actually ask, are you kidding me? That's how we will ask it, and that's, that's, um, estás de coña, estás de coña, yeah. Estás de coña, tía? Estás de coña, tío? <laughs> tronco, estás de coña? <laughs> sí, sí, tronco. Ay, Dios. I, no, I still need time to process that word. <laughs> bueno, for you it will be tronca. Tronca. ¿Estás de coña? <laughs> well, in Mexico we just say, probably you have heard this one before, we say, es neta. Mm, yes, like, es, es neta. neta. Mm -hmm. Es neta. Okay, so, our next phrase. This is awesome. Please, Andy. Mm, no, you go first, I need to think. <laughs> Okay, this is from the very north part of Mexico, but we will say está con madre. Está con, con madre. This con is, madre. Oh, no, with mother. <laughs> so it's wait, wait. it's with ma with mother. It's with mother. <laughs> okay, I'm processing right now. One second. Está con madre. We will probably say está o oh, mola muchísimo or Está super guay. <laughs> or we you just we would just say es increíble, está genial, es maravilloso, all those things. We have a lot. Yeah. Depending on the grade, on the degree of how awesome that is. <laughs> okay, perfect. What is the next one, Juan? The next one is I don't care. And you are up. For that matter, I will stick with me vale madre. Again, with the mother. What's with your mother? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Ay, pobre mi mamá. <laughs> you guys have a problem. It's like everything is related to your parents. I know, I know. <laughs> well, we also have some ways to say like really harsh, mm -hmm. which I'm not going to teach you today. <laughs> um, but normal one would be me da igual or no me importa. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just don't care about it. Mm -hmm. We're almost finishing our contest. Nuestra última frase es, our last and final phrase is, you are a very cool person. You're up, Maria Fernanda. We say, Andy, eres poca madre. No way. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe this. Estoy flipando. This is actually a really good thing. Going back again to those two words that I've used already, um, it would be, eres muy guay. It is my why you are very cool or um, well this will be like I like you a lot it will be me molas mucho mm. yeah but mainly will be it is my why or esa persona that person is very why it's very why oh yes very why <laughs> it's very cool it's muy why do we have any more phrases Juan I'm afraid this is the end of the challenge ladies thank you for watching and see you on the next one So guys, that was a very fun challenge. Actually, I have learned a lot today because there were so many words that I didn't know they existed in Spain. What about you? Do you know any other words or phrases that, I don't know, from Mexico and Spain or maybe Latin America that they're not similar at all? Or what about if you had a, like an embarrassing moment where you used the word that meant completely different from Spain or Latin America? If that's the case, please let me know in the comments below. Andy, thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you today as our guest. And guys, remember to check out the video I have made in collaboration with Andy to talk about our chunking method and how to apply to learn German and any other languages. Actually, Andy gives really good examples applied to German. 
I am going to leave you all the links for that video and also Andy's YouTube channel and of course our free Spanish training where we explain more about this chunking method we are talking about. Again, Andy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was a lot of fun to learn more about your expressions and I hope you guys also have fun with us. So from my side, bye-bye, adios. Anyway, mis amigos, it was a really pleasure to have you here today to learn about these cultural differences. Don't forget that I will see you next week and feel free to check out the other videos for me and the other spring Spanish teachers so you can take your Spanish to the next level with our five weekly lessons. Hasta la próxima. Adios. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like and share the videos with your friends.